Good morning, beauties. It is definitely a three cup of coffee day. So, getting ready to go into the office. I don't know if you guys knew this. I have a temp job to help with freaking medical debt um, through a family member who I really, really, really appreciate. So, that's part of the reason why I've been so crazy busy. So, I'm Getting ready to try out this new brush. This is that new brow spoolie brush. You get to pick which brush in our September kudos between the new brow spoolie, spoolie brush or the original brow artist brush. And I just opened this this morning. So I'm not even sure because I use the spoolie on the brow liner mainly to clean up mascara. Oops. What's up, Amber? How have you been, girl? Ooh, I really like how big the bristles are on this because it really, wow. Because big, brushy brows are in. That's kind of a tongue twister. Okay, so let's try out the new brush. I really like this versus, I still have it completely unpacked from our vow renewal at Silent Valley. Okay, yeah, I don't even know where the, the original brow, here it is. Yeah, that's the spoolie that I normally use. Mary Eileen, hello, beautiful. Oh, where'd you move, Amber? Mary Eileen, I'm doing the new spoolie brush. Brow spoolie brush. I don't even know what the actual name is. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the dark brow palette, and I'm just going to lightly fill in. I, I like saying my balding brow spots. You know, we could do a little bit of a gradient brow, like a little bit darker. And FYI, that's where your brow starts, that's where your arch goes, that's where your brow ends. Super easy little tip, just put it on the side of your nose and measure from there. So start, arch, end. Oh, you're close. Because we're still in the same house we've been in since 2002. <laughs> Yeah, we, we bought it on the, the five-year plan, and then I got pregnant twice with Caden and Kylie. And, yeah, we're still here. <laughs> okay, this one looks a little thicker probably because I was jacking. Let's see. Oh, this kind of... Ooh, I like this brush, you guys. Yeah, because, look, you could kind of comb it through before you do the setting gel. Okay, I like this one. This, I love this one. And actually, I'm gonna use this end for my highlight. Let's see, I have gold in my shirt, so we'll do gold. Wow, I really like this new brush. And I guess I'm kind of cheating because I'm using both for different things, but hey. <laughs> Hi, Diane. And then, I'm just going to use this one for the setting gel. Now remember, it, whatever brow palette you get, we have light brunette and dark. Oh, dark brunette black is the dark one, then a medium one, and then a light one. These two colors are powder that you apply with whichever brush you get in your kudos this month because it's a 30% discount. These are highlighters. So they're like creamy, and this is your setting gel. Now, I know we all kind of brow differently. Some of you guys put the setting gel on first and apply the powder on top. That is perfectly fine. Hi, Wendy. Some of you guys do what I do and put it on last. You know, however you brow, whatever you're comfortable with, go for it. I love, 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 love this new brow spoolie brush. Hopefully you guys can see. And also in the kudos, Jana, what's up, beautiful? Okay. Now, to get super long lashes, which I really need to replace this because it's kind of soft, you need to curl your lashes. Okay, my lashes are blonde and stick straight out, so I've always used a an eyelash curler. I swear by Tweezer Man. I get it on Amazon, don't have to leave my house. I mean, I you guys already know, I much rather, I, I'm an online shopper. I do not like crowds. So if you want really, really long lashes, hi, beautiful Pam, curl them. 
okay? Epic is a one-step curling mascara, but if you want that extra oomph where they hit your brows with one coat, curl them. And, okay, Kylie has been getting into my mascara. So, yeah, I'm going to need to order myself a new... Goodness, Kylie! So, also in the kudos this month, you get to choose which, you know, how to epic, how to unleash your lashes. You could choose from our waterproof mascara, which comes in black, or our regular, this is always my hard side when I'm live, because that left-handed thing, or our regular mascara in black or brown. And a little, I feel all discombobulated over here. A little tip, go light. Okay, there we go. I guess when I took my makeup off, I missed a spot. Go light. You don't need to, like, dig in, you know, when you apply your mascara. Kind of go light. You could kind of do, like, a wiggle jiggle. Um, if you've been using the Esteem Lash Serum, your lashes go through a growth cycle. That's why I'm kind of shaking it back and forth because this wand will pick up every itty-bitty lash. Let's see. Let's see, I... I I'm going through a growth cycle because I always get that wonky lash. Don't you guys hate that dang wonky lash? Like, there's always one. And that's how I know when my lashes are going through a growth cycle because I get the wonky lash, act lash action. Okay. Um, your bottom lashes. Let me put my fan on low. Bottom lashes are optional. I personally like doing my bottom lashes. I feel it makes my eyes look bigger. Got a little clump action going on there. Oops. Um, and also, oh goodness, also in the kudos. Okay, I think I had too much coffee. That's, I'm on my third cup. Probably not the best idea, right? Um, you also get to choose. Oh, and that's my oops trick. I just use the spoolie end. I normally do it on the brow liner brush, but it cleans up your oops. Oops. Um. Now I lost my train of thought. Oh, also in the in the September kudos, you get to choose a pencil liner of your choice. And the entire bundle, you guys, is you get 30% off total. That's a killer deal. Balls coming right now. Hot beauty trend is big, thick, bushy brows. I'm still not... I'm not used to big, thick, bushy brows. Gotta have my girl Sarah come on maybe and give us a tutorial on that. Yeah, see, lash cycles happening. Um, but big, brush, big bushy brows are definitely a thing. So if you guys have any questions on which color brow palette to get for your skin tone and your eyes, let me know. Um, I never browed pretty unique, and I do not leave my house without browing. Seriously, the older we get the more our brows thin out and get bald spots, as I like to call it. And when you fill in your brows, you know, I kind of go a little darker because, well, my hair is white right now, yellowish white. I like the contrast with the dark brows versus the light hair. That's a personal preference. If you are browing for the first time, it's going to take a couple times to get used to it. So you're going to want to do the, the, the rule of Renee. Look in the mirror several times. Because you got to get used to it. Because whenever you do anything new, it's kind of like wearing red lipstick for the first time. You're going to be like, ah, what the heck did I do to myself? You got to look in the mirror several times, 30 minutes, get used to it. Okay? Because I guarantee you're going to look fabulous and you're going to look beautiful. So let me know if you have any questions. I just saw a mess. I'm wearing this. Here, I'll put another coat on. This is the new Crush Lip Powder. And my lip mix is I first use pouty lip liner and then put um, compatible, compatible, hi Shauna, on top for a little lip mix action. And I see another oops I did. So I am heading into the office now to help my uncle. Um, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's get you guys browed, okay? Because you're going to look younger and... Browse frame your face. So I love you all. 
Thank you for joining me, Renee. Five-minute makeover, and let's bro. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later.